I really like E.M. Forster's stories, so I probably would have walked where angels fear to tread at some point anyway. But I am a, a big Helena Bonham Carter fan, of course, and that's the reason why I watched this initially. I've seen this several times since the first time I watched it, and I think, although it doesn't get better every time I watch it, it you know, even though I know what's about to happen, it maintains this lovely quality that's an absolute joy to watch. This was released in 1991, directed by Charles Sturridge, and it's got a pretty incredible cast, including, of course, HBC, Rupert Graves, Helen Mirren, and I'll read the description from IMDb to give you a, a little overview of what this is about. And this says, after a rich Edwardian widow impulsively marries a handsome but poor Tuscan dentist and dies in childbirth, her English in-laws try to gain custody of the baby. I think that sounds pretty enticing. Like if I'd read that description before watching this, which you know, I didn't the first time I watched this, I went in with no knowledge of what it was really about. I hadn't read the book at that point. That would really draw me in, and that sounds great. I think one of the reasons why I like this is that narrative is really well executed. I think it takes what it's trying to do and delivers it really well. This is set pretty much after the turn of the century, um, certainly within the 1900s. Um, I can't remember the exact date, but certainly before 1910. And I think the setting is, is absolutely beautiful. And we do get some gorgeous Italian scenery. It really is gorgeous. Now, I'll be honest, I prefer Edwardian dramas set in London just because I love the architecture and the clothing. And for me, it's my favourite. But this is really beautiful. It's visually really stunning. The costumes are great. The sets are beautiful to look at. Everything feels, to my understanding, realistic and, you know, an absolute pleasure as I said, the narrative is very well executed and something that I find an absolute delight. It's been a long time since I read the novel. I read the novel after watching it the first time and then I, you know, watched the film several times thereafter. I can't remember 100% how it compares to the book. So if you've read it and watched it recently and can recall where the differences are, feel free to jog my memory. But I should probably reread the book again at some point. It is good. Obviously, I watched this for Helena Bonham Carter, who plays Caroline, Caroline Abbott, and she's brilliant. Everybody in this is brilliant, very well cast. I don't know if they're what I would have imagined had I read the book first, but when I read the book and pictured these actors in those roles, it seemed to make perfect sense to me. It's just over, or just under, sorry, two hours, which is not a bad length at all. I think it takes the narrative and, and, and you know, paces it at a really enjoyable rate. There are a few moments where things are a little bit slower. You're always going to get that with period dramas where the action maybe dips a little bit and when things are more of the romantic aspect rather than the dramatic aspect, I'm maybe not that interested. But for the most part, it's an absolutely delightful film. If you have any desire to watch it, I definitely say give it a go. If you've seen any other films um, based on Forster's books or, of course, if you've read any of Forster's books and you've enjoyed the themes or the settings or anything like that, this is one for you. Although not my favourite HBC film, probably my favourite of her period dramas, possibly. Don't quote me on that, but it's certainly very high up there, where Angels Fear to Tread is an absolute delight.